Hey, hey, my name's Lamar Scholl. What's yours? Just kidding. Hey, you know, just trying to have some fun here. Hey, I'm from Direction to Success. I want to welcome you to this video and thank you for stopping by. So you're probably watching this video because you're having trouble loading your thumbnail image for your YouTube video. Well, what I'm going to do, I've got a quick solution for you. It's a free app that's going to help fix that. Basically, what's one of the reasons that could be going on is your file size for your image is too large. YouTube will only accept images that have a file size of two megabytes or less. So if it's more than that, then YouTube will not allow you to upload that image. Let me just show you what's going on and then I'm going to show you. It's probably the same thing that's happening to you and then I'm going to show you how you can easily fix it and we're going to do it right here in this video. So let me just take you over to my screen right now. I'm going to get this done. All right, sorry for looking away. So basically, you're in the midst of um, uploading a video right now. You're trying to upload your thumbnail. So you come over here like this and you're going to pick a thumbnail just like this. Now it's telling you right here, you know, that the thumbnail is can only be two megabytes in file. I mean, in size, right? So it's too big. So what's going on here? So let's look at the little help stuff here first, right? Let's go and click in the learn more. Because one of the things it mentions in here are, is what I'm going to have you do, right? And I'm sure after you get that done, it's going to work just for you. What I'm looking for are the actual image. Here it is. Image size and resolution. All right. So the size is where you're probably having the problem right now. So that's the file size. So like, like I was saying before, you can't have a file size over two megabytes. So let's click in here and see what the YouTube's say. <laughs> I should say Google says about this, right? So look, the resolution of the image can only be, well, no bigger than 1280 by 720. All right. So the, and they're showing the minimum over here, but we don't have that problem. So what we've got to do is look at our resolution. So that first number there, the 1280 is the width of the image. The second number there, the 720 is how the height of the image. All right. So if the image is too big, right? So it's not the file size yet we're talking about so much. It's just the overall, we've got to get our image down to that size. So it's got to be 1280 by 720. Now, let's keep going here. The other thing is the only image types that you can use are a JPEG, a J, you know, so it's a JPG, or, sorry about that, a GIF or a PNG, Portable Network Graphics. All right, so it's these three image types. All right, so we talked about the actual size of the image. Now with cell phones and all you know the cameras these days that size is pretty well it's still pretty good size but it's small compared to what your cam you know your phone's taking your phone's probably doing like 3000 pixels right so that's this is almost that's almost three times bigger and then the bigger those the height and width get the bigger your file size gets so we've got to make sure about that and the file types are jpeg GIF, right? GIF and PNG. All right. So that's the second thing. The third thing is the file size we mentioned earlier has to be below two meg. Now let's go and fix this. So say your file size for your image isn't right. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now the application I'm going to use, it's free. It's called paint.net. You can go download it if you have a Windows operating system. It will run on that. It's a small application, so the download takes no time at all. Like I said, it's free. There's no trial. I've been using Paint.net for a long, long time. A long time. And it, it's been a great little app. And it does a lot more, too. But it's really easy to use. I'm going to show you right now. All right. So what I want to do is go over to my folder. So here's the thumbnail right here that I'm trying to upload. So I've got the right file type, right? So it's a PNG. 
but let's look at how big this image is, right? So I'm just going to select properties. I'm going and click on my details tab. Now you can see, see where it says dimensions? It says 1920 by 1080. So that is bigger, right? So we've got to get 1920 down. So that number's got to read 1270. So this 1080 number has to read 720. Now, I know it sounds all confusing and stuff, but I'm going to show you with paint.net how easy this is. Oh, yeah, by the way, let's go back, see if it's under general. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I'm trying to, oh, right here. So you can see right here, our file size is three, you know, over three meg. So it's a little too big, right? Because we need a file size of two meg. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to right click, open with, I've already have paint.net installed on my machine. And this is it right here. It's very tiny. So that's my image and everything in here. Now, what I want to do, I need to resize this image. I have to make it smaller. You, I went to the YouTube help. It's told me what I needed for my image size. So in paint.net, I'm going to come up to image, right? And I'm going to just click on resize. Now you can see, right? Here's my, there's my width, right? Of 1920. But if we went into the YouTube help, it said set uh, 1280. Now you can see the height was already changed here. Paint.net did that automatically. So it went to 720. And the reason why it automatically did my height when I put in the width, because I told it to maintain the aspect ratio. So you want to always do that. So you don't want to just make the width a different value and then go and do the height. Because what happens is it, you can make the picture look really, you know, stretched, you know, or really skinny or really fat, you know, and it gets all distorted. That's what I'm trying to say. So you want to keep that aspect ratio the same. But even again there, paint.net takes care of all that. Now what I'm going to do is just select OK. And that's it. So my picture's resized. Now I have to save it. So I'm going to go File, Save As. You, you know, if you did Save, you... You could do it over the same image, but I'm going to show you the difference here. So what I'm going to do, um, we'll just say image-tn for thumbnail. All right. So I'm going to do that, and we should see a new file on my disk. Oh, the other nice thing, look at up right up here. I haven't saved it yet, but in the preview window, it's saying file size is 1.4. That's less than 2, last time I checked. So that's a good thing. So now we've got the right resolution size. We've got the right file size. So we're going to hit that OK button. Just give it a little mash. Now, here's our new file right here. This last one right here. So we're going to look at this guy. I'm going to do exactly what we did. I'm going into properties. So there's our 1.4, a little bit more, 1.42. Let's go into details, right? So our dimensions are 1280 by 720. So according to the YouTube help, we got the right file type, we have the right resolution set, and we're less than two meg on the file size. So let's just tap on this window, and we're gonna come over back to, here's my video, right? So I'm gonna give it another shot. So I wanna select this new file I just created right here, right? So I'm gonna select the file, hit the open button, and there you go. So that's how you can, you know, just make sure your thumbnail has the correct resolution. The file size is less than 2 meg, and it has to be the right image type. So I hope you got some value out of this video. Hey, if you did, can you smash that like button? Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah, the Direction to Success channel. Also, I'm glad you I can help. And if you have any other questions, just drop them in the comment down below. Thanks.